What makes a successful drug vet is an ability to be able to plan for the worst and hope for the best. The best way to do this is to have the correct gear and the correct idea of where you're going and how you have to dress appropriately. For this, I will show you what I'd like to do all bring in slap dinner. The best way to do this is to look something along the lines of this. You need waterproof top, waterproof trousers, need some really good walking shoes, and the minor wrap sack, the hat, really sticky, it's going to be incredibly windy as slap dinner. So you will need to have some uh, under, soft shell and need to keep you warm, okay? In the rucksack there's some really cool things I do want you to have. I'll show you some examples here, okay? You will need to pack a normal um, suitcase with pyjamas and uh, toiletries, etc. Just to keep in the kids study centre. But you probably want to have some snacks. You're probably going to want to have a packed lunch. You're probably going to want a, uh, a thermal flask or some tea or a uh, uh, coffee. You're going to want a water bottle. If I were you, I'd pack a charger. Obviously, I need that with all my tools, etc. But that's a portable charger. Um, actually, on that note, in the field studies centre, you're probably likely to have one plug per room of about six or seven. So um, you might even want to multi plug spare trousers in case you get wet. Okay. And what I'm going to do is pack some spare walking shoes in case my walking shoes do get wet on the on the big walk on the first day and bring some wellies because your wellies will be really useful when you have to do some measurements all around the river on the second day or the first on the second day or when you go walking in the forest okay that's kind of really really basics um anything else you want is good but remember we do have a limited amount of space so ideally the bulky stuff i'd like you to wear it with the exception of wellies because you'll have the walking shoes and feet, okay hope that gives you a good idea of what you need to have for slapton and if you have all this gear i promise you you'll be ready